Hi everyone and welcome to my new ACE tutorial. Today I will show you how to set up upsettings.json, create login server folder structure and uh, entity models. Uh, in our uh, application, in our login server application, let me show you, inside of our folder we have specific upsettings.json JSON format uh, file. Uh, in uh, your case, when we create, when we created a um, new application we have a next uh, text here so here we don't have some we don't have specific information uh, but it's file um, it's configuration file where we can store our variables uh, instead of hard-coded uh, by default it seems like that yeah uh, by default uh, here we don't have any of um, any of variables but in our case we need to define here a database connection string uh, unreal engine dedicated uh, gameplay server ip addresses and game client version if uh, i don't know if uh, you have um, your online game then you make some update and uh, you don't want to let uh, old players with old uh, clients uh, connect to your new game and you want to show them uh, some message so sorry but your client is up to update please visit our website and update your client something like that uh, and uh, what about the database connection string like let me, let me show you uh, here we installed in our sixth uh, tutorial we installed microsoft sql server and here i told you that save connection string uh, from this uh, page so we need this specific um this specific uh, connection string uh, it needs to connect to our database uh, okay great uh, so uh, when you open your um, when you open your uh, uh, upsettings.json, you will see next text. But we need to change from something like that. In my case, it's a connection string uh, and with the default connection variable. Then a game server IP addresses with the default server because in my case it's only one server. But if you want, you can create your game with many of servers and you can define uh, all of IP address from these servers here and then game client versions in, in my case it's uh, current version it's one it's first version but uh, yep yeah. uh, so you need to change information change this file to this one um, what about next let me show you uh, let me show you uh, our old uh, our old uh, folder structure in all folder structure we actually created a 3w root folder and it's all folders what we have properties and dependencies it's uh, it's automatically created uh, folders uh, which we don't need to create um, in uh, our in in our case we need to create uh, some new folders uh, let me show you how it must be uh, first, we need to create a controllers folder. Uh, in this folder, we will uh, we will hold our MVC and Web API controllers. It's specific class from MVC and or Web API, uh, which uh, works, um, which defines uh, how what informations we need to response uh, from a concrete uh, request. Uh, next, it's a models uh, folder. It's a global models folders with um, child API models and the child API models have <clears throat> next one uh, a child uh, subfolders like request and response. Uh, actually, here we have uh, entities folders and the view, uh, view models uh, folder. Um, in API uh, models folder, we will hold uh, all our uh, dat API data models uh, file classes. Uh, in the entity uh, folders, uh, in the entity folder, we will uh, hold our entity model classes. It will be our player and our uh, game character. Uh, and view models, it's uh, folders for view models from uh, this MVC workflow. Next, we need to uh, services folder. Uh, in the services folders or folder, we will uh, hold our 
a specific uh, specific class with many of our functions. Actually, we don't really need to this uh, services, but uh, instead of that, we need we need uh, we will need to uh, to have all our logic implemented in the controllers. But it's not great. Uh, it's not a great practice, so we will create something uh, new services. Uh, I will uh, I will name it as as engine manager, and it will it will class where we will encapsulate methods from controllers. So to do not uh, hold all our logic inside the controllers, we will uh, we will hold some uh, specific method inside of this um, inside of this engine managers here it will be our uh, service and then we will have a one folder for structures and one folders from uh, for view uh, it's for our MVC workflow uh, great <clears throat> let me show you how it must be I wanna I wanna open my uh, project and show you how it must be here we can see our, all our new folders its controllers models services structures and views uh, to create new folder, you just uh, do right mouse button click and click uh, add a new folder and then you can name your new folder as you want. For my case, I don't need this folder, I want to delete this. Uh, okay, uh, great. Uh, then what we need uh, is create our entity models. Uh, as I said before, in our previous uh, episode, um, we will uh, use a code first uh, method to create our database. So uh, we need, uh, we only need to create this some classes with some variables, uh, which will be, um, which will be our character and our uh, user. And uh, all of these uh, entities will be created in a database uh, automatically. Uh, so let me show you. We need to create two model classes. It's player user and, for example, player user uh, and uh, character and character. Yep, character CS. Uh, let's create a player user uh, in the uh, models entities folders first. Uh, so to create uh, this uh, new class, you do right mouse button click, click add new item. Uh, then in the next video you need to change to check a uh, class then name your class in our case it's for example player user uh, and then we need to uh, create some variables inside of our player uh, here we can see uh, some variables as our token is online must be logouted and is bonded uh, you can ask me uh, where is another um, where is another uh, variables so I want to show you that another variables uh, will create it from uh, our identity system uh, let me show you in in our in one of our uh, in one of our previous uh, episodes I showed you so we installed um, some uh, uh, some uh, new get a uh, package like uh, uh, like Microsoft ASP.NET Core Identity. It's identity library for user registration, authorization, and roles. And actually, this new get package, this uh, library uh, will uh, will create for us some standard variables. And we just uh, we just uh, let me show you. Uh, and it is then a uh, player uh, player user and here we have identity user so if you want you can click f12 for example or right mouse click and go to definition and here we can uh, find our identity uh, users and here we can f12 and here we can find all of our uh, standard standard user uh, variables it's uh it's uh email it's username it's id it's uh password hash and some and all of standard variables so in our case we just 
create child class from uh, child class of our identity user and here we just add our specific um, variables as auth token is online must be logouted uh, and is banned uh, variables uh, okay great uh, and then we actually have here you can see here our new player uh, player user.cs if you wanna you can just copy this this code and paste in your project but uh, pay attention that you change namespace for your for uh, to your namespace in my case it's tutorial login server var2 okay great uh, and then you must uh, do the same steps one more time and create character.cs class. It must be like this. In, an, in the entity folder, we need to create a character.cs file. And here we will have next variables. It's basic, very, very basic variables for our... Uh, for our um, character, if we will create um, something like a quest system, um, uh, for example, inventory, we will hold all these variables here. Um, great, let me show you in my uh, in my project here in the character file. We so we actually have ID, then owner ID uh, variable. Owner ID is variable of our player user. Then nickname of our character. Then race, uh, gender, experience, location, and rotation. Uh, in uh, race, we will have next system that zero is, for example, human. Uh, one it's elf two it's orc uh, what about gender it's uh, for example uh, zero is male one it's female for example uh, you can change it as you want and you need to create this next class uh, and uh, paste all of this code here you just can create your own variables or you can just copy this code and paste in your project pay attention then you uh, change your specific uh, namespace and that's all for today thank you for listening